Three, two, one. Welcome everybody to the Feel All Right Podcasts. I'm your host, Julio Anthony, and this is the fourth episode so far that we've done with these podcasts. And I'm so thankful that those who are watching are continuously watching these episodes. And I pray that you guys can really dive in for yourself, not just go off of what I'm saying, but to actually do your own research and to dive in for yourself. So, I like to start this off with saying, I don't know everything, right? But here are my opinions, suggestions, and encouragement points to try to help you along this journey. You know, I'm a young man myself, glory be to God, 26 years old, and I know a lot of people in my age bracket, they struggle with a lot of things, and they don't really know how to overcome those obstacles. Uh, A lot of times what we do as you know millennials i guess is when we combat a problem we don't combat it with the word of god we usually find other things to do to try to solve our problems like we all go through a struggle right we're a new creation if you belong to jesus christ you're a new creation and you're a new creation that sometimes does bad habits and Jesus died for all that so we have to keep reminding ourselves that we're free from that so that way we can walk in purity Um, so we all have struggles right we need to combat those struggles with the word and a lot of my generation doesn't want to hear that you know they think that the the Bible is outdated they think that you know it holds no water that it's, that it's scientifically, scientifically incorrect. Man, I want to tell you something. I've been on this road with God all my life. I started walking with Him truly when I was 22 years old. And that's 22 years to try to figure myself out, right? And the best thing for my life was God and is God and will always be God. That's pretty much it. If you're trying to look outside of God, you're never going to fill that hole inside you. You know, we struggle with things, but God died for that. And he wants us to live this brand new life, right? What happens is is when you're not walking with the Lord, a lot of times you're trying to solve your issues with alcohol, drugs, sex, pornography it could even be good things that you're abusing like uh, the gym you could be abusing that you could be abusing your time meaning that you're keeping yourself so occupied that you have no time for God Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, one extreme with like drugs or one extreme it's it's basically anything that is separating you from that personal time with God right but I see a lot of my generation, they don't want to focus in on God. They don't think that He even exists. And some that do think that He exists think that, you know, He's just the, you know, He's the universe or He's a tree or something like that. Like, no, like, those are things, those are creation. We are, we are creation, you know. God made the tree. God made the universe. God made you. God made me. He made everything, right? So I think it's time we start giving Him some credit. Um, But what I'm really trying to say is, is like when you struggle, man, I know it's rough, especially for those who don't really know who God is, but he definitely knows you and he wants a better relationship with you. He doesn't want you to do all those things that separate you from him. So why don't you try this? Whatever it is that you're going through. And whatever it is that is pulling you aside from God, try putting that down and focusing real quick. Pick up your word, read it, and pray to Him. You know a little bit about my testimony. I was upset because I didn't understand the Bible. It was in King James. That was a big reason why I didn't read it. It was like, we don't even speak like this. Why am I reading this if we don't speak like this? But a young lady told me, she said, Why don't you download the Bible app? There's tons of different translations. It all says the same thing, but in a language you can understand. She pointed me on to the NIV Bible. And that 
open my eyes and you can have the same experience. Man, if you're trying to figure this out, my hope and my prayers is that you really focus in on God and Jesus and His love for you. Download the, download the Bible app. This is what I did. I downloaded the Bible app, I downloaded the NIV version, and I started reading at Matthew, and my world has been different ever since. It may be different for you, but that was what I did. So, uh, whether, whatever it is, plug in, plug in, and find people that are encouraging too and that are transparent and real, because we want real. We don't want fake. We want real. So, find people who are real about their struggles, find people who are real about the Lord, and walk this life out together the way God wants us to walk. So that's my time for today, everybody. Listen, I love you all. Today has been a little bit more of my, my personal journey, a little bit of a rant, uh, but I hope it helps somebody. Even, even if it helps just one person, I hope it does, right? Uh, I'm not really doing this for popularity or anything like that. I'm doing this because I love the Lord and I want to express it to you, especially to my generation, because I really have a heart for you guys. We grew up together, you know, and we're, we're going through the same things together. We grew up with technology. We grew up with a lot of things, and a lot of these things are kind of like separating us from God, so we need to really focus. So I'm not perfect, so I, but I want to focus in on Him, and I want you to do the same, but you're going to have to want it as well. No one can force you. It's only, it's only you and God at the end of the day. Nobody else. You and God. That's it. So, I'm going to cut it off here because we're going on seven minutes. But, listen, I love all you guys. I hope you had a great time watching this. I hope it helps somebody. And we will be back next week, God willing, with a brand new episode. Stick around, everybody. I love you. Have a great week. Peace. So, wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, before you go, before you go, we have to close this out in a prayer, guys. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to pray this out, okay? Father God, thank you so much for giving me a new life. Thank you for being with everyone that you can show who you are to them, that they may see yourself and they may see the Holy Spirit, Father, and they can start walking in the Holy Spirit the way I'm trying to walk in the Holy Spirit. Uh, I pray over all of our sins that we may turn away from our old self and that we start walking in our new self every single day, Father God. Peace and blessings be to your people. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen.